Cliffhanger Hill Climb, New Zealand's most hardcore Isle of Man style racing event held only once a year in Gladstone about 15 minutes outside of Masterton. I tried this two years ago on the Zero, but this time I brought the new fancy Italian bike. I actually didn't think we could even make it, because for one, I didn't sign up for it, and then I lost my license. But the organizer messaged me a few days before and said, hey, some riders cancelled and we have some spots if you want to come. It's also a closed course, so we don't care about your criminal activity. So we threw together some last minute plans. We'd put the bike on the trailer, Jen would drive the Tesla, and we'd turn it into a fun weekend away. Obviously, the only way to tow an electric motorcycle is with an electric car. We got the Tesla's tow hitch installed by Tow Bar Express in Lower Hut. This is not a sponsored promotion, it's just that a lot of people ask where we got it, and that seems like the best hardware available in New Zealand. I feel like on this trailer, one Energica is kind of the limit, but if we had a trailer with suspension and brakes, we could probably tow both of our bikes. And we were still getting around 400 k's of range, so if towing made any difference, we didn't notice it. So that was a cool experience, and Jen was an awesome Uber driver. 5 stars, suggest finest. Ok, let's get to the race. So the cliffhanger is a time attack. Only one person runs at a time, and they space you out a minute apart. This keeps it exciting for everybody watching because you get to see wheelies every minute on the minute, and it's a solid gap between riders so you don't catch up to the person in front of you. I want to give a special thanks to Cliff over at TT Kiwis for letting me steal all this sweet footage. Definitely go check out his channel for way more professional videos than mine. Steve! When you come back down, try to leave your bike in sunlight so the sun keeps the tires warm. Oh yeah. Okay. Me, me. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> First run, I'm just treating this as a fun ride up a mountain road that's closed. You can use both lanes and go as fast as you want. For me, it's not really a race, it's just having fun. I've only had this bike like a month, so I'm not ready to fly off a cliff yet. Although I've been told that this video needs more explosions, so maybe. So I just hold that there like there. You can keep an eye on where your ritual starts as far as starting foot on the floor or foot up, and whatever. And I'll count you down from five. And we go. You gonna start it? Uh, it started. Huh? It's electric. Jesus. Anyway, you better go. <laughs> I don't think we need to see that again. All right, let's see that again. That's fast. Yeah, above 100 k's an hour, the Senna's audio is unusable. But I guess that gives you a realistic idea of what I'm hearing too. When you're going fast, it all just turns into wind noise. With the faint sound of mosquitoes in your helmet. Anyway, this first run was really slow because I was still learning the course and I didn't get any of my lines right. I think my time was like 3 minutes, 15 seconds. The fastest riders were doing 2 minutes. To explain how that difference in our times even makes sense, when I was flying through this part at 160, they were doing 260. What makes the cliffhanger so tricky is that every corner is blind, so you have to memorize each one to know how much to slow down and which ones to hit flat out. And while I was slowly learning the road, I was also learning my bike. My first time taking the new Energica on a twisty road was this racing event. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'll, I'll try not to stall mine. Oh, you don't have that. <laughs> Oh, 
was fun. Okay. This is way more fun than scary now. Every time I got to the top, people came over to ask questions about the bike, which is awesome because I'm not that social of a guy. I really suck at small talk and usually have no idea what to say. But when you have an interesting bike, you're kind of forced to be social and it was cool. So to sum up all the answers to questions that people had, the bike usually gets about 200 Ks of range on the highway, but at the cliffhanger, about 70 Ks. Each run is only six kilometers, but riding this hard, those six kilometers kill 10% of the battery. Lots of people asked about the radiator, that cools the controller and the motor. Everything's super high voltage and there's lots of amps going through and so things get really hot. And air cooling does not cut it up here. Yes, the bike has regen, so in theory you could recharge a little bit on your way back down the hill, but not at the pace that we were riding. I have 17% battery with 22 Ks left of range. I'm not sure how far I rode today, but yeah, it's in the red, so I'm not gonna do another one. That was it. I feel like my last run was the best and I didn't get it on video. So, uh, it's all good. On every run, I got a little bit better until I worked my time down to three minutes flat. That was still insanely slow for a bike with this kind of performance, but it was nine seconds faster than the zero, which told me a few things. So on the zero, I felt like my time was 50% limited by the zero's lack of top speed and the motor overheating almost immediately and the other 50% was a limitation of me just being a noob. But this time, it was 100% me. The Energica is a monster. I've said in the past that I've been searching for something, which was probably a unicorn of a motorcycle that doesn't actually exist. But it does. This is it. As far as electric motorcycles go, this bike is perfect. It just felt so light and nimble and flickable and just... Flickable. It's so flickable. Compared to the old Energica, like, the, the new one is just unbelievably awesome, and the power was scary. Legitimately scary. Like, you'd exit a corner and you'd just pin it, and all of a sudden it would hook up with the instant torque and just, like, launch you like a rocket. It was insane. Insane. And once you get used to that, you can kind of play with it, and it's just, ah, oh, it's amazing. Um, got a little bit of my chicken strips taken away, like, uh, a little bit less. Um, chicken breasts now, so <laughs> that worked out. The loins. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm happy, and you know, really, uh, it's just a good, good day. Um, I didn't fly off the cliff. Uh, everybody was super awesome, just awesome people and awesome events. So Very can't supportive. wait. So supportive. Yeah. Everyone's like, hey. Yeah. Like I cannot wait to go back next year with Jen on another Energica. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a month when I can ride again. <laughs> Bye! Bye!